I forgot about this prediction, didn't you? Oh, no, no, no. I got this, uh, somebody gave me this Beyond Time, or whatever it is, magazine. Beyond Today, right? And it's talking about the James Webb Telescope, some kind of Christian magazine, I don't know. Look what they say. We looked into the very early universe for the first time and had no idea what we were going to find, right? It turns out we found something so unexpected, it actually creates problems for science. It calls the whole picture of early galaxy formation into question, right? Again, USA Today, and possibly massive galaxies discovered, right? Again, talking about the James Webb Telescope. You thought I was going to forget? No, I didn't forget. I didn't forget anything. I made the predictions, quote-unquote, before the first images came out. Another victory. Another victory for the Bible. Again, why are they so surprised? They were told from the beginning. Genesis chapter 2, thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. Again, they were told from the very beginning. From the very beginning, Genesis 1 and 2. It was already made, folks. So, again, it's not making problems for science. It's making problems for their evolutionary religion. That's the problem. Again, the James Webb Telescope came out. NASA made all these predictions. I called them out on video. I called it out in advance. They're humiliated. There's no way for an evolution to explain how random people on the Internet can humiliate all of NASA and their trillion dollars for telescopes and all these PhDs and all this stuff unless they admit what evolution is false that's it folks no one should believe in it it's a religion it's a false religion Jesus Christ made all things the heavens declare the glory of God send me my millions send me my genius grant again another failed prediction of evolution and I called them out in advance there it is has not God made foolish the wisdom of this world, God teaches man knowledge.